All right, guys. Well, I'm working here on a 48 RE, but the purpose of this video is uh, uh, this. The symptoms of this truck was uh, delayed two, three engagements. Sometimes it was shifting to third, and uh, it will delay the, the third gear. The command was there, but it would like uh, the uh, delay, delay, delay uh, the third gear uh, upshift, and then all of a sudden third gear was going, and then fourth gear right away. And uh, he had a uh, reverse clunk. Uh, the old drive direct snapper was uh, broken in uh, different pieces, but it also had a delayed reverse engagement. And the main issue here, it's uh, this lip seal here from factory is machined incorrectly and it, it barely seals. Now on the overhaul kit, it comes with this seal and then it comes with the updated seal. Now this is the uh, the original seal that, that, that's from the unit. Let me get this thing out. And this is the uh, it's a lip seal. This is what it is. But the dimensions are uh, very uh, small that it doesn't protrude out far enough for it to uh, actually create a seal. Now here on the overhaul kit. We have the updated and we have the factory seal, both come in it. Now on some kits this will come in a little baggie and this will come loose, you know, with all the with all the lip seals. And if you don't pay attention, I mean you will take this lip seal out and then you will kind of match it up. Okay, well this is the same as that. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one in there, but then you will find out that. It barely protrudes out. This is a new seal and this is a used seal, but you're still creating the same issue. Six months later, the seal will be like this, and uh, you're gonna have an issue with a two, three upshift and uh, with delayed reverse engagement. So this is the brand new seal that comes in the kit, but this is the factory, uh, factory specs. And this is uh, the updated seal. If you see here, uh, this, piece, uh, this piece right here, is thinner than this one and what this does this allow for the seal to protrude out further I mean you can see it right away if I get this thing close to you guys I mean you can see it right away that I mean it's just protruding out fairly fair a fair amount of a, a lip and that in, in, in its case is going to create a great seal 2-3 upshift will be restored and uh, reverse delayed engagement will also be uh, restored. Okay, on, on Transtech, it usually comes with the pamphlet and it shows you the dimensions of the old one. Uh, the the uh, old one was 130 thousandths, which is the, the bottom dimension here. And the updated one is 170 thousandths. It's, it's for 89 and up. All the 46 REs, all the actually the 42 REs come with this as well. I mean, uh, they had the same issue with this uh, lip seal. So there we have it. Uh, issues with uh, two, three delay, two, three upshifts. This kit comes with the bulletin. Uh, some kits they don't come with the bulletin. Like I say, this seal will come in a little baggy, and uh, it would. On the bag itself, on the on the bag, it will uh, describe what the seal is for. But if you open your overhaul kit, and you get your kit, and you're just, you're matching them, I mean, you're gonna end up putting this back in there, and you're gonna have the same issue. Okay, so uh, this is just a brief description of uh, that problem. This is a very common problem. Actually, this transmission was built uh, about six months ago. He has a, a Pro Series uh, second gear band uh, from Ray Bestas, and uh, they did exactly that. They when they put the overhaul kit, they just matched the uh, lip seals, and uh, they put the one that matched the one that was already in the drum. So uh, even though this transmission was overhauled six months ago, it's from an automotive shop, and some uh, automotive shops they try to do their own rebuild. Uh, they missed this and we had to reorder the whole overhaul kit because this lip seal uh, you cannot find it separately and 
We're not gonna let this go to waste, so I'm gonna go ahead and use all the lip seals and refreshing this thing up. All the frictions are good, nothing happened to the unit. It was just that simple. We made two, three upshifts and uh, delayed reverse engagement, and I believe that was the cause that broke the uh, overdrive direct uh, snap ring. Uh, I don't have it with me, I'll throw it away, but it was broke on the overdrive section. All right, guys, well, there you have it. 40, this is a 48 RE. Uh, it applies to the 42s, 46, 47, and 48, all across the board. All right, guys, thanks for watching.